25 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, more and more Germans are looking to move to Potsdam on the outskirts of the capital, which has been restored to its 18th century splendor. For real estate agent Carsten Hopf, business is booming. Politicians, celebrities and business leaders have moved there and the town is expecting 20,000 wealthy new inhabitants to arrive over the next decade or so. Over the past 25 years, Potsdam has transformed itself completely. It's risen from the dust and become a real gem. Apartments in top locations now sell for 5,000 euros per square meter or more. But just beyond Potsdam, the prices drop quickly. Berlin and Potsdam are surrounded by Brandenburg, a large, mostly rural state the size of Belgium, with just 2.5 million inhabitants. Like many other regions of former East Germany, 40 years of central planning had left it structurally weak. The then Chancellor Helmut Kohl promised that reunification would bring great prosperity to the East. Since then, public authorities and the private sector have invested about 1.6 billion euros into the former GDR states. But while economic output has grown almost everywhere else, Brandenburg has remained stagnant. It remains a place of stark contrasts. There's no doubt the East is catching up with the West, but there's still a gap and the rate of growth has slowed down in recent years. Economic output is at 70% relative to the West. And while unemployment in Eastern Germany has halved over the past 10 years, rural regions are still struggling. Templing in Brandenburg is one such example. At 15%, the surrounding Uckermark region has the highest unemployment rate in Germany. Our problem is that a lot of people don't have the necessary formal education to start apprenticeships or other training. And those who do have the education usually move away to Berlin or Hamburg. It's very difficult for our local businesses to fill their training positions. On the one hand, there's high unemployment, much of it long term. On the other hand, there are still vacancies, but mostly in low-paid jobs like geriatric care, health care or tourism. Similarly, jobs for tradespeople and in the hospitality sector can't be filled. It's really surprising. People just leave. Just recently, we were unable to keep our business open seven days a week for the first time. Now we have to consider closing during the week and opening only on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays because we don't have enough qualified staff. There are no prospects here. No industry, nothing. Only tourism. The population is aging. Templin is no exception. It's a pretty place, yes, but that doesn't put food on your table. With the exception of Berlin and its commuter belt, eastern Germany has lost almost 14% of its population. The Uckermark is also experiencing an exodus, a skills shortage and an ageing workforce. Larger companies are rare, partly due to the lack of infrastructure. One notable exception is Schwett, which has been an industrial location since GDR times. But even there, businesses are facing serious challenges. The company PCK Refinery will have to replace more than half of its workforce over the next 15 years when they retire. The trick is to catch young people early, then there's a chance, but it's becoming more and more difficult for specialized companies to find employees and workers. We're just a little too far from the larger cities. Schwedt may not be a major urban center, but local residents say it's still a charming part of the country. Poland is just a stone's throw away. Nature reserves and forests are everywhere, and that's reason enough for 31-year-old Sasha Nels to return. After his studies, he spent time in Sweden, the UK and the US, but back home he organises meetups for returning expatriates.
Also für viele ist es erstmal eine Veränderung, gerade wenn man aus It's different, kommt. especially when you've come from a large city. This is a rural area and that requires some adjustment. But many people like the calm here and the short distances. And when you start to think about having kids, this is a great place too, because they like it here. Und die bleiben dann auch sehr gerne hier. 25 years after reunification, prosperity is no longer so much a question of West or East.